Good day to you from the office here of the Newberry Church of Christ. I'm Jess Carter. I'd like to talk to you uh, this morning a little bit about how we are saved. First thing I'd like to tell you that I believe that we are saved first of all by the grace of God. It's the grace of God that we are saved. The grace of God gave, he gave his son on that cross. So we can say that we are saved by the grace of God and we are saved by the blood of Christ. Those are the two first things that I think of when I say that we are saved. You and I can be saved. Grace of God and the blood of Christ. But you know why I can mention the grace of God to you? You know why I can tell you about the blood of Christ? I can do that because of this book and because of faith. I have faith that God loved us. I have faith in that grace. I have faith in that blood. Matter of fact, in Romans 10, if we look at Romans 10 and 17, it says there that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. It's the word of God that tells us about the grace. It's the word of God that tells us about the blood of Christ. And it's through the word of God that you and I are able to have faith that Jesus Christ was that son that died for us. Faith. Matter of fact, and we can look at the chart in Romans, I mean in Hebrews. If we look there in Hebrews in 11, in verse 1, we see the definition of what faith is. I love this. It says, now I say then, uh, what faith is, it says here in, he in uh, Hebrews 11 and verse 1, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Just look at that. It is what? Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. We have and we have faith. When we read the Bible, we hear about God, we read about creation, we read about Christ on the cross. We have it by faith. We didn't see it. Men did see it. They gave us the Bible and, and we, by faith, we read and we can understand. But not only that, but also studying. We can know that there's no, there's no Bible facts that contradicts any scientific proof. Uh, other than the resurrection, the divine miracles. But the Bible, I have faith in God's word. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Not only that, in Hebrews 11 and 6, it talks to us about faith. There, notice it said this, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. We can see we must have faith. It, it is something that a person must have. They must have faith in God. A lot of times uh, people have trouble having faith. I know of I know of, of, of a woman one time that she could never get married. She said, I just can't marry anybody. And we, she talked to me. She said, I just cannot have faith in anyone. Well, to, to be married to a, another, you have to have faith. You have to have faith that what they tell you or their feelings and their attitude is, is true. We have to have faith. We have to have faith in God. God, it is a necessity. It is the necessity that we have faith. And then, not only that, what faith alone cannot do. Faith alone cannot do it. We must, we must have faith. But faith alone, look if we would at James. The little book of James there in chapter 2. There in 2 and then in uh, 14 we start reading. It says, what does it profit, my brethren, if someone say he has faith but has not have works? Can faith save him? If a brother or sister is naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say to them, depart in peace, be warmed and filled, but you do not give them the things which are needed for the body, what does it profit? 
This, this also faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. But someone will say, you have faith and I have works. Show me your faith without your works and I will show you my faith, my faith by my works. Here we can look and see what it is talking about. We have to have faith. And basically what the Bible is saying is this. The Bible teaches that only by faith are we saved. I firmly believe that the Bible teaches that only, now notice, only by faith are we saved, but not by faith only. Matter of fact, we look at this word and see what it says then. In verse 24, the conclusion of this, there are 2 and 24 James. You see then, the man is justified by works and not by faith only. That also is saying this, a man cannot be justified by works only. Works without faith will not save us. Faith is a necessity. When I teach this, some people say, well, you don't give faith, you, you uh, depending upon work. No, I'm not. Because I don't care how much work we do. If we don't have faith, if we don't have faith and we trust, that's trusting in God. I like the old song. The old song that I love, it says, trust and obey. Just listen to that. What does it say? Trust in and obey, for there's no other way. My friend, I hope you have faith in God, because only, only by faith can you be saved. Act upon that faith. If we can help you here, if I can help you, contact us. Subscribe, like. But study God's word somehow, some way, and have faith and do what the God wants you to do. Amen. God be with you till we meet again.